Welcome to this prepared life. I'm Allison. I just got home from picking up our Azure standard order. Current temperature is 12 degrees and I am going to show you what we got this month. So if you are new to Azure Standard, all of your items will come with a label and I have kind of blacked mine out, um, but it'll have your name on it and then it has the name of your drop and then some other information. But this is how you know it's yours. Um, and at my drop, everyone just kind of calls out everyone's names and you grab your stuff and everyone is helping get everything off the pallets. Um, but when you get your order, it will say how many cases you have. And essentially, an item with a sticker is considered a case. So it is one thing. So like in today's order, I had 12 cases. And so 12 items with a label. So another thing to know about Azure Standard is they reuse packaging. So this is not a box of, I think that might be a bread thing. This is not a box of bread. They just used that box to pack whatever's in here. In here. So today's order, I got a bag of oats. This is a 25 pound bag. I got two cases of peanut butter and a case of yogurt. Um, and I've actually never tried this kind, so we're trying it. Um, I am trying to get into making our own yogurt regularly, but we just don't have enough milk for that. And then I got a case of um, say five pounds of frozen cranberries, and I'm gonna um, dehydrate or freeze dry these. I got a case of apples, another case of apples, and a case of potatoes. And these will be for eating. They will also be freeze dried and um, possibly canned in some way. All right, so first box is a turkey. We had ordered a turkey from a local farm this year, but we got a message from her about a week ago that the turkeys were not going to be at weight, that they were incredibly small. Um, we have a big family, so we needed more than, I think she said they were going to be about six pounds at butcher. And I was like, that is way too small. I was just going to get one at the grocery store because it's cheaper, but Joe wanted an organic turkey. So organic turkey we got. This is the second year that we have not raised our own turkeys and, um, next, <sighs> Next year, I'm just raising our own turkeys again because one, I love turkeys. They're like the best farm animal. They're like goats and turkeys are like dogs. They just wanna be your friend and follow you around and do all the things. So next year I'm going back to raising my own turkeys and we will not have this issue again. But if you have never raised turkeys, raise turkeys. They are so much fun. All right, back to Azure Hall. So open up the next box. You get one of these with every order. I always try and uncheck that I don't need it, but I forgot this time. Um, let's see, so we have a bulk bag of Italian seasoning mix, some ginger, lids. I ordered some jars a while ago and the lids were out of stock, so I keep adding them to my cart. I meant to take this out of my cart, but I forgot. So I have a massively large bag of red raspberry leaves for making different teas. Last time I was at Costco, I could not find chili peppers. So I just ordered some from Azure. We have two things of sour cream, two things of oranges, a cabbage and a bag of carrots. All right, next box. I have never tried these, um, and I usually don't buy a lot of candy and stuff from Azure, but everyone is always saying they're so good. So I got a bag of these chocolate rainbow drops, some more sprouts. Um, I like sprouts. Kid Four likes sprouts. Joe likes sprouts. Um, and I tend to do a lot more sprouts in the winter. I have two things of beeswax candles, and then this is 
two bags of mini chocolate chips, which I use in, um, I mean, I use them in baking, but I use these primarily, the mini ones, in my chocolate peanut butter oatmeal bars that I make, and I tend to make a batch of those every week, so I go through a bunch of these. All right, so that is my Azure haul. Um, it's a lot of uh, foods that are we are just going to be eating this go around. The oats are for the oats are for my um, short term layers, so those will get put into a bucket. Any of the produce that I can or preserve will go into my short term layer. Um, what we don't eat right away, obviously. And then the cranberries that um, I end up freeze drying or dehydrating, those will go into storage to be eaten throughout the year. You know, sometimes people look at my grocery hauls or whatever on Instagram um, when I'm sharing them in my stories and they're like, well, how are you preserving your yogurt? Or um, some fresh item, how am I preserving that? And I may be a prepper, but I still eat food like buy it put it in my fridge and we eat it i am not always eating freeze-dried food so the yogurt we're gonna eat that um we eat a lot of yogurt three of the four of us eat yogurt pretty consistently so if i'm making granola people will have yogurt with granola pretty regularly so just because i'm a prepper doesn't mean that every single food we eat is a prep food we still you know, we have our garden and we eat fresh produce when it's in season. I will buy cases of things from local farmers if I can find them and we are eating that fresh or um, root selling it or, you know, we buy things like yogurt at the grocery store or cheese, things like that. We are not always eating freeze dried food or canned food, um, you know, things like that. So I thought I would share a little bit about how I use Azure Standard in my prep layers. Um, Azure Standard, just like every other store, is impacted by shortages. Sometimes things are not available. For me and how I grocery shop, that isn't a huge issue because let's take the case of peanut butter I bought today as an example. I didn't buy that because I am completely out of peanut butter. I bought that because I took a case from my prep layers and I put it into my kitchen rotation. So I ordered a case of peanut butter to replace that. When I order an item and it is out of stock, it doesn't impact my pantry because I just add it to my cart for the next month. I'm not out of that. Occasionally it might be something that like I don't keep in my prep layers because we don't use a lot of it. And so, you know, I know that can be frustrating, but I just understand that that is how Azure works and with the state of everything, it's kind of how everything works lately. So in my prep layers, I have my kitchen layer, my short-term layer, and then my long-term layer. And my long-term layer is my SHTF layer. Um, I, it is not a prep it and forget it layer. It does get rotated. It just takes longer. Anywhere from two to you know 10 years is when I will rotate those goods in. And then my short term layer is the foods that we eat on a regular basis that are shelf stable. I have dogs and cats and parakeets and every animal under the sun that is making noise in this house right now. Um, so my short term layer is the items that we eat on a regular basis that I rotate into my kitchen. And then I have my kitchen layer, which is my kitchen pantry. And it's the foods that we are currently eating right now. It's what's in my refrigerator. It's what's I've pulled out of the freezer for this week's meals. It's what's in my kitchen cabinets. What Azure Standard is, is it is bulk and non-bulk buying of organic and natural foods. They have very high standards for what they will sell. Um, I appreciate that about Azure Standard. A lot of people ask me, is it cheaper? I don't know, I don't know how much groceries are where you are, so you're gonna need to price compare on your own for that. But for me, it is way more convenient to drive 10 minutes down the road to my Azure drop and pick up my groceries than it is to drive into town. Um, prices are a little bit insane here where I live. So 
for organic options at the store, Azure is very comparable. If that's the case where you are, I have no idea. You'll have to do some price comparisons and check on that. I'm gonna flip you around and show you what my view is. I'm sitting here drinking some coffee and warming up before I start putting that Azure order away. Um, but this is what my house looks like on a normal basis. So I do have a great view, wonderful coffee sitting next to all of my onions. These ones were not fully cured yet. And so in the barn, it was frozen out there. So I had to bring them in and um, let them finish curing in here. So welcome to this prepared life where I drink coffee next to piles of onions in my living room. Dogs, cats, and parakeets roam and I'm freezing. So I hope you enjoyed my Azure haul today and uh, next month it'll be even colder.